All right. Welcome back, everyone. One and done a Season 2. Now, a bunch of really short games coming up. But first up, this is one I'm super excited for. I was watching the submission video put in for this. And just the tech available in this game is just absolutely unreal. Zandri, take it away right. with Sonic CD. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Zandri69. Uh... I'll be running the any percent category of this game, which, uh, yes, it's a very fun watch and a category to do. And uh, my commentator here is Zaxxon96. He's hey also guys, a very yeah. good, he's a very good fellow classic Sonic runner like me. And I'm like grateful to have him here. Yeah, great to be here. This, uh, this is going to be a fun run to watch. Yeah, and also, too, just real quick, uh, Zaxxon started this game like a week ago, but he's had like really good progress, so um, I'll be helping him a bit sometimes, like if needed, but yeah, this should be really fun. And whenever you're ready, you can give us a countdown. Alrighty. Uh, five, four, three, two, one... All right, so uh, starting off on just Palm Tree Panic, uh, once the screen loads, for Sonic CD, for some reason, like it, some of the levels just take a little bit, little bit longer to load. But yeah, he's going to uh, want to like do a jump off this like ramp thing, fly on over, get some speed shoes, and pretty much just do a couple jumps, uh, traverse the level. Uh, nothing too crazy, uh, just some really nice platforming. <laughs> But right here, yeah, he's going to want to bounce off that enemy. Perfectly done. Nice. Uh, you get to skip, like, another section there, which is pretty nice. 23, really good time. Yeah. Like, getting the butterfly bounce, like, close to the end there is, like, the best thing to do. It's pretty satisfying. So, just like uh, Act 1 and Act 2, you're also going to want to get Speed Shoes pretty quick again. Uh, they come up a little bit quicker this time, and then you're going to pretty much want to stay uh, on the top route here. As you can see, a couple more enemy bounces, a couple nice, really good jumps, and honestly, another perfect stage. That was great. <laughs> yeah, this level is like pretty hard to like get down but like once you get to the point where you can do it perfectly it's a pretty fun level that was a nice one level yeah yeah so act three uh it's a pretty short level to get to the boss room so you're gonna see him do another peel out get on the spring move on through and basically he's gonna go behind the boss and then once he gets like a certain cue he's he's gonna damage boost himself and then just go underneath and then just kill him really quick and now he's gonna look for like some certain frames just to save a couple seconds here so see if he can get it he did nice so if you get the certain frame you'll just fall straight down into that little loop instead of having to like get into the loop it saves like a, a, a nice little time save <laughs> yeah it's like one of the harder stress to do because you have to like memorize a number of windows and stuff but uh, it's pretty fun pulling off, though, even though it saves, like, only a second. Yeah, so this is the first uh, level wrap in the game. Also, the first time they introduce uh, Amy and Metal Sonic ever, so shout out to that. But, uh, yeah. yeah, perfectly done, so he, you can explain MPO a little bit more than I can. All right, so MPO, like, I'll say this real quick. MPO is, like, a... Uh, an alternate state of the game where it's like if you're doing it like a peel out the game is in a different state so um if you're able to move while you're doing a peel out then you're you're able to go through walls like most walls in the game you can't go through like objects and certain things like that but it's a very broken mechanic that i do a lot here yeah so you're gonna see it a lot in this entire game but uh he also just got in the wall to like zip there that was good. Uh, yeah, this level is uh, kind of funny. There's a crazy like double frame perfect trick at the start. <laughs> but now he's yeah. going to just want to bounce on some uh, things, get some more speed shoes, go over some walls coming up here. <clears throat> By getting enough height, 
There's like another pinball mechanic, which we're going to see in the next level as well. And another MPO before we get there, though. Mm -hmm. You go so fast with the zip that you literally destroy the signpost. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, too, about that pinball part, uh, I want to be so sure about that because you'll see <laughs> what I'm about to do here. Yeah, let, let's just watch it together and see what he does. But yeah, go. if you guys Let's haven't never seen that before, yeah, you don't even have to fight the boss. You literally can just jump over the ceiling. <laughs> it's yeah, harder than it looks, though, because you have to do an MPO to do that or uh, another backup MPO if you don't get it. <laughs> yeah, which only makes you lose like two seconds. It's not a big time loss at all, especially if you're starting out. No big deal. So the cool thing about this is you get to bounce off two enemies, get over the ceiling, and then there's just like a random hole in the ceiling, so you can just drop down. And this is the first time we're going to see the past slash future mechanic. So we're actually going to go into the future here, which this game is timed in IGT, so you don't lose any time for like doing this. Like your IGT will stay stagnant. Uh, so yeah, we're going to bounce off some stuff. And we're actually going to time travel again because it is actually faster. It gets rid of this water for us. <laughs> yeah. And all you have to do here is like uh, fall down a bit, land, do a, a peel out, and you're at the end of the level. Yeah, as you can tell, like there a lot of these levels in this game are super short, so um, that's just how the game is. Uh, but coming up into this next stage, actually a strat I found in just like the week or two I've been playing this game, I actually, well, Cubby Cubby Cat helped along with it. Uh, but yeah, it's a there's a crazy new strat. Zandri's gonna try to go for it, but it's really hard. Yeah, it's really hard, but I'm doing it because it's really hype if I pull it off. It's a huge time save, yeah. I didn't get it. No. Okay. So what hmm. happened there was I didn't pause on the right frame perfect. I was uh, one frame too late. And uh, yeah, if that happens, you just got to bail completely. Yeah, so there's two pause frames that you need. Uh, you need a frame perfect pause frame when you zip out of the wall there to get like the perfect just speed, pixel position, millions of things. And uh, then you got to pause on another frame perfect and then jump out of that pause. And it's insanely hard, but it, it saves like, uh, what, like 15 seconds? Yeah, it's a 15 second time save. It's a really crazy stroke. But I do go for my like current uh, like world record attempts for the game. Uh, like right now, IDT wise, I have a 1053, but yeah, because it saves 15 seconds, that makes a time like uh, 10 to X doable, which I've been grinding it really hard lately. Yeah. And you are the, I mean, you're the world record holder right now as well. So. Yeah. So more okay. MPOs. MPOs just can help you get into walls. And we're just going to keep going into more and more walls. That's the thing with CD. Uh, you can just use the peel out. Also, this strat, uh, you can kill the boss pass, and it saves a lot of time if you do it, but if you miss, uh, it's kind of scary. But it's very precise. As you can see, Zandre's trying to pause to perfectly hit him. So you actually, you take one of his bubbles, which is like a corrupted bubble-looking <laughs> yellow thing. Those are supposed to be bubbles. Uh, you pick one up, and then you have to like hit him between the bubbles. His, he only has one HP, so you're supposed to just keep collecting the bubbles. Like that's how this boss fight's supposed to be. But, <laughs> but yeah, you can do like the really awesome thing of just grabbing one bubble and then trying to fit in between all the other ones and do a one hit kill really quickly. Yeah. So going into Quartz Quadrant, there isn't going to be like really as many glitches in Quartz Quadrant. I don't even really think there really is. It's kind of just nice gameplay. <laughs> so. Yeah. 
or it's just mostly or, movement based and like it tests like how good your movement is with the game and because of that it's like i would probably say it's my favorite zone to do it's really fun just going through like all of these things that the game throws at you but you can go through it flawlessly still it's also a nice break from like uh doing like tight tricks and mpos and stuff which i mean there is one at the end of this act too but yeah yeah So that's pretty precise to get that spring bounce off there. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> accidentally hitting a spring, but that's okay. Yeah, getting some more speed shoes. It's just nice that there's just a lot of speed shoes in these levels, so it just you know helps out. Um, yeah. There is a tight trick right here where you have to MPO, but he's gonna get it first try. And then the rest of the level is just some nice little jumps, make it to the end. Yeah, that was a pretty okay level, besides, like, accidentally bopping that red spring at the beginning. Yeah, honestly, if you would have got uh, the new title Tempest 2 skip, we would be on world record pace right now, but... Because really? <laughs> your run has been really good. Uh, yeah, I wasn't sure. I've just been focused on doing good, or playing good. Yeah. So... Yeah, if you jump on a specific frame, you can get, like really crazy speed, but uh, it's hard to get the jump. So he's just going to MPO through the wall, get to this boss, and basically it's kind of like an auto-scrolling boss, kind of, but you need to keep running on the conveyor belt to speed it up. So. Yeah, the only real challenge is, like, you being a bit, like, uh, what do you call it, snarky with, like, when you hold left to, like, slow down and go to the left and avoid the bomb and jump back to where you are to keep running in the treadmill. But other than that, this level is pretty, like, trivial. It's not that bad at all. Yeah, I don't yeah, know how many like times the... you have to wait for each ball to drop, but I think it's like five or six times. Yeah, that sounds about right. <clears throat> So, yeah, for not getting, like, that uh, type strat I was trying to do in the middle of the level, that's a pretty good time. Yeah. And now everybody's favorite level, casual fans and speedrunners alike. Now, uh, no, this is one of the most hated levels in all of Classic Sonic. Uh, it's just very hard. The floor is always just, you know, flinging you and sending you everywhere. So there's a lot of tight platforming, and nice save there. He got just the right of uh, where the floor wasn't flashing. Oh man, he accidentally hit a, yeah. the Unlucky. platform thing. Its hitbox actually is like on the left and right, not just below and above it. So it's like just weird. So no like specific MPOs here. He's gonna look for a couple specific frames. He got it. And that was like overall, besides the end there, that's still a pretty good wacky workbench one. Yeah. And then now, uh, Zaxxon will be talking about another strike he found in Wacky Oh, two. yeah. So, this also, since I just started playing this game, I actually found a brand new level wrap in this level as well. And if done like super optimally, it does save time. And even if you don't do it su super optimally, it still just saves time. So. It's a pretty cool strat, and I honestly think it's easier than doing the other level. But ba basically, we're going to use pass, uh, the pass to go in the pass. MPO into this wall here, and then like for some reason, if you MPO again on the uh, above here, there's like just random things that bounce you backwards. And if you come all the way to here, there's a 100% consistent method where if you do it one more time, it'll just always like level wrap you. So it's pretty awesome. Yeah, it like it's definitely easier than doing it normally, and uh, at 26, that's like two seconds faster than my current PB split. So, and you know that's doing the level the normal way, but it's a lot harder. So it's definitely worth going for. It's a really awesome strat. Congrats to Zaxxon for finding it. Yeah. Oh, I didn't get lucky.
Yeah, it's okay. Like... The... Okay, okay he... Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Whoops. I, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. <laughs> Whoops. Uh -oh. But, uh, <laughs> that scared me. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. You want to zip but not fall through the ground there. Yeah, that just happens, like, if things are, like, kind of too misaligned, which they were, because I didn't get lucky with, like, bopping that monitor. When I try to roll into it, it just stops me, and that messed up things completely. Yeah. That's unlucky. But, yeah, this boss, um... He'll just, like, try to, like, crush you with these things. But <laughs> you can just jump on them, and... It kind of uses the stages gimmick from Act 1 and Act 2 as the boss fight, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, you just hit him every time he comes down, except for this last hit where he actually stays up in the air. So, um, I try to go for a frame perfect jump. I did, I did not get it though. Yeah, if you kill him frame perfectly on the first frame that these things rise up, you can actually like spawn in the middle of the level. Or no, you sp how does it work? It's like the, the floor won't deactivate, it'll still be in, in an active state, so the rocks are still moving down and up, and uh, what you saw there was that I had to like jump over the two rocks to the right, but if it's activated, then you could just charge your peel out and release it as soon as it's fully charged, which saves a second. Oh, okay. So start a speedway, actually one of my favorite levels. This level is just, it's just cool visually, the music's good, just everything about this level is really cool. Yeah, we go to the past here, and there's like some interesting movement here that Zach and Kinnick swim. Yeah, do you take Joey's route? I don't actually. No. Um. So you gotta do some like precise movement here, otherwise this like this nope slope I would call it like just kind of really can mess you up and make you lose a bunch of time, and that can happen as well. And, all right, I'm just really just uh, having a hard time going through this level, but yeah, there we go. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. Yeah. Ideally, it's like uh, if I did everything right there, then I would have gotten like a 19 second time, but I got pretty unlucky though. Yeah. Start at Speedway 2 is basically, um, he's just going to go straight for a little bit and then just go all the way to the bottom route which is actually like the fastest way to do this level. And it'll, it'll like the stage will be over so quickly. Wow, that was a nice jump. Yeah, I decided to go for it. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anyone to do that because if you time it, if you time, if I timed that jump like a frame later, I actually would have died and like fall to the floor. So yeah. Yeah, so yeah, another literally like 20 second level, like every, all these levels are just like a nice 20 seconds. <clears throat> so one of the coolest boss fights in all of classic Sonic, I would say, is this Metal Sonic boss coming up. It's pretty iconic and just, it's just a cool level. Yep, and also too, um... This is like one of the levels where it's like kind of interesting because you have to do like the movement like very good here. Like you have to like make no mistakes doing it. Otherwise, uh, you're actually going to have like a hard time trying to stay ahead of Metal Sonic and not get killed by Eggman because um, and the 11 version that um, I'm sure that many of you are familiar with. Uh, this level isn't as bad because Eggman is like a good amount behind uh, Metal Sonic, but in 93, he's always right behind Metal, and Metal is like, he has like some serious like uh, like rubber band AI stuff going on, so it's a rather scary level to do, but I, yeah. I did it just fine. Yeah, I'm baiting uh, Metal Sonic there at the end. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, you get to save Amy. True love. Yeah. <laughs> well, really nice to see those two hugging it out. <laughs> but Sonic wasn't really hugging, but yeah. 
Uh, so this level is pretty cool. It also has the level wrap. Um, so he's gonna just go through the level like normal, hit some spring. If he's gonna hit a spring that's gonna send him all the way up here. And then uh, there's some like very specific things going on. Oh. And he's gonna look for a certain visual cue here. I got it. And Wait, no? It's a okay. there's a couple frame perfects. Yeah, I don't know why that one didn't work. Okay, no, um, I was thinking about it, and uh, no, that's because I, like, paused, like, a frame or two to it. Let me try that again. Right, okay, there, there you go. go, nice. So, three things can happen there when you zip all the way. You'll either, A, get the level wrap, B, not get the level wrap, or C, you actually just crash the entire game. <laughs> Yeah, um, so about that third thing Zaxxon said, that only happens if, like, your margin of error is, like, way too high, so that means if you did it too wrong, then that'll happen, but as long as you're, you know, like, how the skip works and all that, and the, the level wrap, you're fine. You're not so yeah, low. so what you just seen him do in this level is... An interesting thing about CD93 is if you pause the game, then press all three jump buttons, uh, it just resets the level, which actually helps out the cycles. And since the game is timed in IGT, like it just works out. So it, it, it fixes the cycles for us and we just reset basically as soon as the level starts. <sighs> oh, oh, that was oh, close. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get a... So that trick is like not really RTA friendly and it's just very random if it works or not. Oh, uh, but basically, you can just like go through that like vent, uh, and if you don't go through the vent, then you kind of have to do this. Yeah. So, um, the vent skip I tried to do there, I was trying to go through like a very tight opening in the wall. Uh, I didn't get it. It saves about six or seven seconds. Uh, there's not a consistent setup for it. But it's probably like the, the gold mine of like this game. If something was found for it, that would be really amazing. Yeah, and just like that, we're already on the last level of the game. Like that went pretty quick. Uh, so Zandre is going for like. Oh wow! I can't believe I that didn't work. It. Yeah, I'll take my time here. Yeah, he's trying to uh, zip into the underneath ground and then just jump through the. Uh, ground, go through the seat, and then go through the ceiling to pop up here, but it just wouldn't zip him into the ground, so we had to take this way instead. Yeah, uh, you can manipulate sure. those lightning bugs to spawn inside each other, so you can just jump one to just kill them both, which is nice because you have to kill them to move on to the next room, which is now the final boss fight. <clears throat> yeah, so. This boss fight isn't bad. Uh, you just have to know, like, all the like positions and like the timings for when you can hit Eggman and uh, yeah that's basically it so for this third hit here I just stand like right here and then you'll see like these two clipper things blink and then uh, as soon as the first one's about to stop blinking I can just kind of jump get a damage boost and then as soon as I land back on the ground and grab the ring I can hit them and that like saves like a good bit of time all right, so like with this fourth hit, you just stand there and then uh, just do mm -hmm. the thing, and there you go. Nice, GG. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure what my IGT time was, but maybe it's a high level. It was pretty. It was pretty good. Yeah. Well, that, I, yeah, that was a lot of fun though. Like I'm really glad that I was able to showcase off this run and show people like the. Awesome, not very seen potential of the 93 version of this game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. so th thank yeah, you so much for doing it. Yeah, thank you guys for uh, accepting me and Zaxxon for being a commentator for uh, this run. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just wanted to say one more thing really quick is we're actually going to do a CD93 speedrun tournament over on my channel, Zaxxon96. So that's going to happen in about a month and a half. So if anyone wanted to join the tournament, you're welcome to. Anybody can join. So 
And That's also, to too, um, when uh, the tourney got announced, uh, we, or I finished up like a tutorial along with like two other community members of the game. So um, you can use that tutorial to like help you guys out. It's both in video and document format. It's pretty extensive, but it's like the ultimate guide for the game. And I've been wanting to do that for a long time and I'm finally glad I could get it done just in time for Zaxxon's turn now. Yep. Yeah. I was, I was going to ask if people want to learn this, but there you go. Check out the tutorial. Yeah, yeah. It really, like, the tutorial came out like two weeks ago. It's very new and recent. So, yeah, if anyone's interested, go check it out. Awesome. Well, uh, I believe that's to be all for Sonic CD. And thank you again, Xandri, for doing the run and Zaxxon for the commentary. <laughs> but, uh, you know, as we say. Uh, can I have like one last thing? Absolutely. Uh, is that okay? Okay, so um, this is like something that I've done before, so I'm not like, you know, I'm not promoting my Twitch channel, but right now, um, yeah, I said this earlier, I'm trying to like get like a 10 2x in this game, so like, you know, under 10 and a half minutes, because that now that's doable all of a sudden with the new Title II level wrap, so if you want to see me grinding the category and seeing like you know top level cd gameplay then uh, yeah you can watch me whenever i go live yep thank you there's that tv slash zandry 69 right here yes yes it look is, at yeah. it right now before we say goodbye forever yep <laughs> okay <laughs> One everyone done, got that yeah. go check it out <laughs> all right and with that goodbye forever zandry yeah we'll thank you for you having me around I just dropped the eraser like an idiot. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Again, only three runs left tonight. Man, tonight is today's really sped by. I, I love doing these marathons. They're so much fun. But we're going to go to a quick break, and then we'll be right back with uh, Master Spy by Shout64. So stay tuned.